From the Ticats Audio Network, this is Morialli and Hitch. Hey, everybody. Welcome, fans of the Ticat Audio Network, fans of David Butko. I hear crickets. And, of course, fans of the one and only Rob Hitchcock and Mike Morielli. This is the Morielli and Hitch podcast. Hitch, you're international. I am in Where Brazil, are you right now? my friend. I'm in Brazil. <laughs> oh, my. I'm upset with Brazil. I'm upset with Brazil because they beat Canada yesterday in the World Cup. Actually, I'm upset at Canada. They did not play their best game. No. They did not play their best game. But you're there. Yeah. How is everything going there? Yeah, we didn't watch it yesterday, but the Brazilians actually uh, in our meetings. Oh, yeah, they they made it clear. Oh, yeah, I thought you guys were good in basketball. Oh, we are. Well, we beat you. I said, I know. (laughs) Okay, we'll get them, buddy. Well, how's Brazil treating you? What's going on there? Well, it's different. Um, uh, 22 million people in Sao Paulo. Um, it's busy. I had to bring a couple of BlackBerry phones with me. Crazy. Yeah, I had to bring I had to bring some phones because what? you can't walk on the street um, with your phone. That's one thing they said. You just can't walk on the road with your phone because the guys come by on their motorcycles and they'll just say, "Give me your phone." Snatch. We heard, we heard this from last night, Mitzi, from this this couple that's from here. Four guys came through about two months ago. They were walking on the street and gunpoint and said, give me your, your phones. Gave them the phone, open it. They had to do the password and they transferred funds right into their account from the phone. Like, buddy. What? <laughs> so, yeah. Buddy, I mean, stay in, in your room. Not, <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's 99% chance it's not going to happen. You just can't flip, have your phone. So what we did, my, yeah. my remember Matt Keister? From yep. Arizona? Yeah, so Matt and I are here, and we went, believe me, went from Uber Black to our meetings to a really nice restaurant, and then back to the hotel, in the Uber, back. So we didn't really, we went out a few yeah. times just at night, but it's tough. It's tough, buddy, especially when you're a gringo. <laughs> well, listen, listen, you keep taking care of yourself. It's anywhere. You don't, you walk in the wrong spots anywhere in this world. You're going to be asking for trouble. I've heard it's beautiful, though. I heard the beaches are beautiful. Yeah, the food's great. The entertainment's great. So it's all good. Yeah, we're. Uh, I'm flying home tonight, so I got one more day to get hijacked. I hope I don't. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what kind of internet they got there? Like a little mouse and a wheel? Is that what's happening there? Well, I think I'm on a delay. Botko, am I on a delay? Because it sounds like I'm saying something and Mike's not saying anything, and all of a sudden he starts laughing about three seconds later. <laughs> This is what, hey, when we go international, buddy, when we go international, this is what's happening. This is how things happen. Butko's got to figure it out and post edit. We'll let Butko yeah. figure this one out. Yeah. Great. Well, Great. we should we should talk a little bit, Mitzi, about the, you know, the Thai cats. We usually do for about three minutes. And, you know, <laughs> we still have, they still have, their, what, four and six, I think? Yeah, four and six. They got the Argos who eight and one. Yeah. And, uh, Kelly just signed a three-year deal. I just saw, so they're happy with him. Looks like uh, he's long-term big. with the big, big money, yeah. big money, yeah. big money. Kolaris, like Kolaris money for him. Kolaris money. I think yeah, pretty close. He's he's. I think he's got a three-year deal. Average is close to six hundred k a year. I think, if I'm not mistaken. That's Kolaris. Not bad. Kolaris. Yeah, not bad. Better than uh, better than our twenty nine five. <laughs> <laughs> I think honestly, was it even twenty nine five? Because well, because I, I I signed a year before. I think when I signed in ninety four, mm-hmm. it was like twenty seven, twenty seven and a half. Can you imagine? Yeah, oh my god! Remember, but we loved we talk, it. I we had I, lots of fun. Talk, oh yeah, I talked about this uh, about this when I signed. Remember, I think I did on the show about a year ago, but. My dad said, you need an agent. And I said, yeah, yeah, great. Got an agent. I, I negotiated 29.5. That was the minimum. <laughs> and had to pay your agent. 3%. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, well, listen, oh, we man. had, this is going to be, I think we're going to have to revisit. When you get back home, we're 
in the same country next time we'll talk more about Danny and Darren and all the boys yeah. in town and, and Wood going in the wall of honor because I want to spend some time you got a short day today we got a yeah. special guest today I don't know if that person is ready yet I'm not too sure this is the first time this is a no not ready yet so we'll keep no. going here so cats cats had a dud on uh, Flutie's day it was a dud and that rain was in, in, incredible, by the way, too. Um, yeah. That whole day was a bit of a mess. But then they rebound against arguably the number one team, you know, in the West, certainly, in B.C., and they beat them up good in B.C. Not yeah. an easy game. Not, a, not an easy game. I think we were, what, nine years we didn't win a game there when we played. Remember? It was, it was crazy. So yep. I'm, I'm glad they did that. And, and speaking about B.C., uh, well, I can't always forget. I mispronounced the name. Rock, 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 the quarterback for the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got cut. Eh? Rourke, 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 Mickey Rourke. <laughs> <laughs> so he gets cut, and he's not coming back to the CFL. I heard no. he might be going to the Cardinals. He got uh, practice roster back with Jacksonville, so he cleared oh, he did, waivers. Did he? Yeah, went back to Jacksonville. You probably don't get too much CFL uh, news out in Brazil, eh? In Sao Paulo. Probably doesn't come over the ticker. No. <laughs> so you'll like you'll like this one. I get into my hotel room. Nice. It's called the Pullman Hotel. It was recommended by us. Nice place. Get into my room. It's thirteen by twelve. Not bad. It's good size room. <laughs> I turn on the TV. No English. No, no English. No. 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 Nothing. So I didn't I haven't turned it on. I'm on Netflix on my computer. But turn it on. There is the ESPN, but it's all here. It's just soccer. Soccer. Okay, I do. Soccer, so I, I watch a little bit in Brazil. It's fun watching it. Such a nice language, eh? Portuguese, not Spanish. Yeah, Portuguese. Nice. yeah it's good. You're in a good. You're in a beautiful part of the world, my friend. You are in a. A lot of people don't get the chances to go to Brazil, for God's sakes. No, so uh, that's probably too bright, but. Oh yeah. yeah. I are, see uh, rooftops. A couple of, dogs, couple of rooftops. Couple stray dogs. Yeah, there's a, there's a few here. There's a few. <laughs> uh, I bet there is. I bet I just missed going out going to Sao Paulo last year because we were playing those international games, and uh, we didn't make the the round to get there. But I, w- I wanted to go because I just wanted to see that part of the world. And are you on that famous beach there or no? No, we uh, we're about an hour away from Very that. Very good, about half an hour. But oh, okay, no, not this trip. Not this trip. Got to do a spray Bucket. tan before I go out. Lots of spray. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Bucko, what's happening, bud? Mm-hmm. Ah, We're impatient today. Same old, same old. We're impatient today. Can yeah. we even Rob's say on a we, timeline. Can we even say who we have? I'm trying to save it for like a you know grand reveal. But this is new for us. We can start like this is the first time ever type thing on this show. Yeah. First time and, ever. Happens to be a, a female. Yes, this is what That's I'm saying. Like never happened, you know, never for never years happened. people said no to us. They no. said no, kept saying no, not a chance. We're not coming out with you guys. And this one, I, I think we got her in a very weak moment when she couldn't say no. Rob just went blank. I think we lost him, which is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted to have happen. I'm right so let's here. talk a little bit about when I wasn't. Oh, I'm, I know you're here. I can't see you. But let's talk a little bit about the show you did a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. I couldn't make it. I was out in Vancouver, wherever the heck I was. And you had to carry the show by yourself with two legends in Paulus Baldiston and Darren Flutie. Now, in your, you know, how did it go? Well, I know what you're going to say, but it was uh, it was the best it was the best show, and Bartko can even he can attest to this. It was a good show. Come on, look at him, Bartko. It was a good show. Yeah, I was it. told, I was told by somebody who was on that podcast, it was the worst show ever, ever, and and the host failed miserably. That's what I heard. But I mean, of course, of course, I Ozzie's can't believe everything that. you hear. No, of course, oh. Ozzy's going to say oh. that. Speaking of Ozzy, it was such, it was so great to have, we have such a good group and we got to touch a little bit on Darren here when we have the time. So Darren comes in with, with Terry, his wife and his, and his kids who are 
great looking kids, by the way. And Terry's beautiful and always has been. And, and then there's Darren. So we'll just deal with Darren. Um, he, he hasn't been back in a while with the exception of, of Danny's wall of honor. He was so excited to be there. And his kids and Terry, his wife, I think, sat back and just watched what it was, what this meant to him. Because Darren's played on lots of teams. He's played in the NFL. He's played in BC. He's played in Edmonton. He's played in Hamilton. He's done his thing. But for some reason, well, I know the reason. We know the reason. The Hamilton experience for all these players, whether it's Danny or Darren or anybody that's made the, the trek to Hamilton when we played, it's it was family. And just to see, you know, and Darren told me, he goes, you know, Terry never understood you know, when I used to comment about the guys and the guys and the guys, but then she got to see it firsthand and the love in, and it was it was awesome. It was a great, great few days. Yeah, you know what? Um, just seeing his kids, I remember, uh, I remember the, his kids were, I don't know, they were like six. They were so young, seven yeah. years old, now 28, you know, 28 and 26. Crazy. And I'm just like, you know, I'm looking at mine too at the same time. You know, Matt's going to be 17 next week and Ava's 19. It's like, Crazy. what the hell? Nuts. But yeah, that, we're what old, a, buddy. I mean, Wood's been, Wood's been on, on the wall in BC, right? So, um, oh, yeah. I, he knows what it's like. He was he got put up there, I think, two years ago or last year even. But just to be on two walls in the CFL, that's that just goes to show how you know what an impact he had not only in this league but as his t- as a teammate to all of us as well. Like he's just awesome. Oh, he was awesome. He was awesome. He uh, he was having a good time. We we're all having a good time. We didn't let the weather affect anything. I lost you guys at some point for like at least a quarter and a half. No idea where anybody went. Didn't really mind it either. At the same time, it was a good time. We had uh, great to see all the, uh, everybody in the families, and now the kids are coming out. Like our, our family just gets bigger and bigger. Uh, and, and what a great tribute on the screen! You know, my favorite part of that tribute was our boy Archie, because we haven't seen Arch in so long. But to have him up, giving his little uh, you know thanks to Darren and and what he said. I mean. It's so true. Like you got to remember, Archie came here as a running back, and then he got switched to receiver and was never really taught to be a receiver. But he kind of learned how to be a receiver through guys like Darren and being in the locker room. I mean, it was it was pretty cool to see him. I want to see him in person. Uh, so hopefully, we'll get that chance soon, buddy. I hear he's about two eighty. <laughs> oh yeah, he's a big boy. Oh yeah, I was, still wouldn't mess with him. Oh, no. Arch is uh, Arch is yeah. a tough dude. He was he a is. tough dude. Man. Oh, my God. He was. We had a couple tough dudes in our room, you know? We and had more than a couple. Day. But yeah. the one to me, you know, how about Troy Davis? <laughs> Troy Forget Davis it. was tough. Yeah. yeah. Troy Davis would knock you hey. out. Calvin Tiggle. In a heartbeat. Oh, Calvin. wow. <laughs> Calvin. Beast. Beast. Yeah. Have we had Calvin on the show? No, he talks dinosaur. Have we had Calvin? I don't know, I don't know if he, he talks dinosaur, so I don't know if he could come on the show. Yeah, yeah, he has his own his own thing. He has his own thing. <laughs> he just stay. We'll just stare at him for forty five minutes. Yeah. Oh, he was a tough dude. Oh. But go. What what's going on, buddy? We're waiting on a guest. We got a guest. Want to bring her in? Is she's oh, here. Good. Yep. Okay. Okay. Just give me a second. Let me do a brief intro here. There would you? Go. We've already tipped off that our, our next guest is a female. Uh, first time ever on the show. We're breaking barriers. Well, way, way too late, obviously. But no one else wanted to agree to come onto the show that was a female. So this is a big thing. You know, you, you likely have seen this person on your TV set or on your social media, probably wearing some fancy clothes. Maybe you've seen her on the sidelines of Thai Cat Games. Maybe you've been to her store when she had the store, Sexton in the City. I know her as Motsy's daughter. Everyone else knows her as Natalie Sexton. Why don't we introduce the lovely Natalie Sexton? Oh, wow. Hello, Nat. Wow. Am I sideways? Am I, am I oh. sideways? No, no, no. You th- what, like, on, like, like this? Yeah, like, is my, am I framed okay? Oh, God, yeah. Yeah. Okay, oh yeah. Because here picture, I feel like I look like this. Picture perfect now. Picture perfect. Oh wow! Oh, it's yeah. the lighting. It's always good lighting. Yes. That's all you need. 
<laughs> and expect and expect nothing on the show. You may be sideways. We have no idea. Uh, David Butko, our our executive producer, uh, is yeah. is managing this, and he's horrible. So we don't know oh, what's no. going to happen. And in the, yeah, I know it's sad. It's not will easy. He, it's sad. Will but. he tell me? You know what? Because in my screen, I'm sideways. So I just want to. I'm just hoping that I am the right way for it's you catch, guys. It's catching, Hi, David. It's, it's oh, catching your. Uh, it's catching the left side of your face, but it's fine. It's David, am I okay? Yes, yes, it's good. That's fine. It's great. Thank you. We love it. Okay, that's all right. it. Okay, okay, you set. You good. You, you, lighting's good. Everything's good. You're <laughs> you're, you're uh, horizontal, which is perfect. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if you know this, Nat. Well, first of all, you're the first female on our show, so I don't know if I should oh. congratulate you or just <laughs> thank you for finally someone agreeing to do this. Um, and, and Rob right now is in Brazil. He's in Sao Paulo. So he's international man of mystery right now. Wow. I feel like you yeah. need a hat or something with like a feather yeah. in it. I don't know. It's like some sort of prop maybe halfway through. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I'm sure you can find me something in your uh, – I, I could wear something for sure. You can find me I something. Could. Yeah, it's. I could. Uh, you know, I could. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> so here, here's Rob's. Rob's internet's like a mouse in a wheel. So we're just going to uh, kind of figure out what's going on as we go. But I want to talk to you today. So we have uh, many guests on the show, mostly ex-players that we played with, right. and we talk about the old times and all that stuff. And you know, we're all three Hamiltonians here, right? All right. Uh, proud Ty Cat fans. I, yes. I was curious, what got you into Thai Cat football? My dad. I, I mean, one hundred percent, a hundred percent, my dad. I, as long as I can remember, uh, you know, he's been a Thai Cat super fan. I would say, and he's always had season seats. I think. Um, my God, it's got to be like 50 years wow. now. And he, so when my dad immigrated here from Italy, like to Hamilton, he remembers being a little kid and they would climb the trees outside of the stadium to watch the games. And he just loved, like fell in love with football, fell in love with the Thai Cats. And he remembers saying to himself, when I grow up, you know, when I have a job, <laughs> I am going to, I'm going to get my own tickets and I'm going to go to every game. And he did. I just thought that was, I think that's such a, a special thing. And so, he, so with those seats, he had two seats and I have two brothers and a sister. So growing up, it was like, who was the favorite child of who he <laughs> chose to take to the game? I went to lots of games. I'm just saying. So I bet you did an idea. <laughs> but uh, well, I know, I know your dad and, and, most people that probably know your dad know your dad as as Motsi. And right. as, I can't believe we're talking about Motsi on the show, but we're talking about your dad on the show because he's a legend. And I love uh, that. <laughs> he will love it. And Motsi was uh, a long time official, basketball official in the city. Right. And now, you know, does some work with us at the CBL. So I get to see Motsi all the time, which is of which course. is awesome. Um, but where did so he, he comes here? From Italy comes to Hamilton. Next, you know he's into football and basketball. I mean, crazy how how that happened. And and did he have a group of friends that he kind of fell in love with that with? Absolutely. You know, growing up, I feel like everybody has a nickname too. There's like yeah. the sni <laughs> the snide, the sipper, foxy. Oh yeah. I didn't even know. Like growing up, I I didn't even know what their actual names were. It took until many years later. I just thought that was their, their <laughs> given name. Um, but yeah, no, definitely. I think I think for him it was that sense of community. And then for us growing up, you know, sports were such a big, you know, integral thing for sure. And then the Thai Cats, of course. So uh, I, I feel like I feel like it's always kind of been in my life. I just never imagined that I would be in this role with the tie cats that I am now. It's, it's yeah. a pretty special thing. Yeah. So your dad used to watch us play, but you were like three years old when we were playing, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> maybe four at the most. Right. Four, maybe. Four. <laughs> um, get, get again, now get again to your, you know, what you're doing right now on tie cat game day. Like, do you, you know, question is, do you ever get a chance to actually watch the game? Cause when we're there, we we Mike and I maybe watch. We talk to so many people. We might watch like five minutes of the game. Like we don't even watch the game when we're there. But do you get a chance to, or are you just on the go all the time? You know what? I don't. I truthfully, I really don't. Um, yeah. I try to mindfully 
you know, take a look at what's going on, but I'm so immersed in what's going on with the fans. Like I really, that for me is so important and so special and, and it is hectic too, as you know. Um, and oftentimes I'm like running from one end to the other and I don't, I don't wear sensible shoes. Like sometimes it's, fa- it's fashion over function. I can admit that. But no, I'm, I'm still kind of immersed in what the next thing is that's that's kind of going on and, and trying to be present with um, with the people that I'm with. It, that that itself is such a cool thing. And, and in doing this now since 2017, it's never lost on me at how special each time, you know, you get to bring like a fan to the field or they get to be on camera or, you know, for them, that's that really, that's a big moment. Um, and I never want to take that for granted. So that's kind of where my head is at on game day yeah, for sure. It, you do a fantastic job. And, and oh, we've had a chance you. to work together uh, over the years. You've done a fantastic yeah. job. I'm not going to diminish this role, but it's a small part of what you do, right? This is a small part of right. who you are. And I know just recently, if I'm not mistaken, I'm not going to say you retired, but did you not change a bit from you know being and traveling the country and being on the Maryland Dennis show and here or there and <laughs> in Winnipeg and all over the place what what right. are you doing now I'd love the fans to know kind of maybe how you started and how you've morphed and what you're doing now right oh geez I know with with TV it's funny I started as a makeup artist for CH morning live so I would be down I didn't there know that yeah, I was down there at like three in the morning and getting everybody ready you know, back in the day. Yeah. And uh, I remember showing up for my first shift, like fully, full makeup, heels and everything. And the hairdresser there was in like pajamas. And she was kind of like, <laughs> what? Who is this woman? I, I said, sorry, this is just, this is not going to change. This is who I am. <laughs> and I love, I really loved that job so much. And I, and the people at CH still, I have lots of great friendships with and one of the on-air um, anchors then Kate Carnegie had said I want to do a segment it was something to do with makeup self tanner or whatever um, can we do a little interview with you and I thought oh god you know that's <laughs> terrifying and I did it and then we did a few more and I was do- writing a blog as well about fashion and whatnot at the time and she said let's do a whole segment with you on the Saturday news and we'll call it Sexton in the city like your blog and then I did that for about a year, every Saturday. And then the Marilyn Dennis show called. It was like this, wow. it's just wild how this all um, just kind of kept growing and going and going. And I was traveling around Canada, doing all the morning shows. That was sort of pre-COVID. So that changed obviously with travel. And then you adapt and change and started learning. Uh, I basically could set up a TV studio in my home now. And I do, I still do all the Canadian shows, but I do them from home. So I'm not traveling as much that way. Marilyn Dennis did retire and I did that show for a decade. That was so cool to do a live national television like that and, and do these really cool, not just fashion. Like I love that side of things, but do makeovers, um, you know, real people and really kind of like Mm -hmm. change their lives or give them a little step towards something different like have that kind of connection with people has been really special and now i have a regular gig on another national show uh the global morning show and it's fashion oh, wow. friday with, for you. with natalie sexton yeah i started that in <laughs> january and that's been uh just such a, a blast and i i'm hosting gray cup this year awesome. that i got announced and yeah i'm just i'm working with all kinds of brands Sometimes when people say, like, what do you do? I'm like, I, I don't know. I've just kind of created this whole amazing world. It's 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 a lot of work. Like, I don't want to diminish it and just seem like, oh, it's just fun. And um, but it's it feels it, it feels so great that it doesn't to work kind of seven days a week, which I do. Um it's okay. I love it. I'm yeah. happy. I'm so happy. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I just went like on a. It's just no. Like that's exactly path. what I wanted you to do. That's what I needed. Right. That was good. <laughs> okay. Mike and I. Uh, Mike and I need a makeover. Oh, do we I ever? Got you. Do we <laughs> ever? We're getting up there, Meeks. You you look at us. We're getting old. Buddy. I tell you, uh, we're hanging in though, bud. We're hanging in there, okay. okay. We're hanging in, good. okay. Uh, so I just want to get on that thread. So you. It, Anybody who hasn't seen kind of what you do, uh, I think social media is a great start because you literally like change outfits 
multiple times a day. And I'm like, one question is, do you get to get, do you get to keep all that? Or do they send you those? Oh, I'm sure you've heard this a thousand times because okay. as ex athletes, players, no matter what sport, we love free shit. So you could right. send me anything. I would wear it. Uh, I'm sure Rob feels the same way. I'm just curious how you go get your hands on all these new stuff every other day. I know it's, it's insane. Like it is kind of crazy. I have a lot of stuff now. I, I do get to keep a lot of things, um, but, but I, I do donate a lot. I have a sister, I have a daughter, uh, lots of girlfriends that, that definitely uh, benefit from all of these things as well and products and all kinds of, yeah. So donate and, and then give to, Give to friends. Wear, of keep, course. I, I keep stuff too. Oh, I yeah. So. I just moved into this house a year ago and I had one of the bedrooms turned into a closet on top of the Smart. other closets. Smart. Yeah. So, and I'm just constantly, it's like a game of Tetris, you know, moving <laughs> things around. But it's cool. Like, I mean, I get to dress, to play dress up for a living. Like, there, to me, that's been, I, I feel like I manifested this because I was the little kid in my mom's closet. I used to walk around in her boots that would be like up to <laughs> up to my butt and a big hat and like just always putting any makeup I could find on. So this this has evolved since I was a little kid for sure. <laughs> I bet. What uh, Rob, what do you got, buddy? Yeah, I know quick I know we're on a I'm on a delay. It sucks because I'm talking and then it's like <laughs> six seconds later you guys are hearing me. So um what do you just a quick question about the Thai Cats now. Like, I, I know yeah, you're doing yeah. the great, you're doing the Great Cup this year. I know it's tough yep. to watch the games, but what what have you? Like, we're hoping our cats can get to the Great Cup because it's in Hamilton. Of it's I, from what I hear, it's going to be um, even better than it was uh, two years right. ago, right? And we just because of COVID, there's going to be so many things that have been lifted, and they say this is going to be like the best Great Cup ever, like. Deep down, we're Hamiltonians. We want the Cats to get there. They're four and six right now. Um, anybody can get to the playoffs, but like, is it sure. different? You think it'll be a little different when how you're hosting the Grey Cup without the Thai Cats there? Like, it's it's going to be great if they're there because it'd be so much right. different, right? Right. I know, and it's so I hosted uh, the COVID the COVID yeah. Grey Cup, um, and that was an amazing experience. But of course, you know, very different than what like everything that's planned for sure for this one. And it was so exciting for the cats to be in that gray cup and be a part of it that way. And, you know, I had actually, this is a side story to that. I was so excited. I had this like yellow jacket ordered, like gold, yellow, like floor length, (laughs) basically neon. I looked like a, like, like a highlighter. I was so pumped to wear this and I got there for gray cup and uh, the CFL was like, you can't wear that on the field. Like it's, you, know, you have to be new. Ne- you have to have to be neutral. Like if it's on, like they just, in gen- oh. I just didn't even think about it. So I'm like, it's freezing. Right. Cause it was December <laughs> as well. And I'm thinking, Oh my God, like, what am I going to wear? So they said, we have, we have CFL coats for you. No problem. So I go to this room and it's all these Mark's work warehouse, men's triple XL parkas. And like, I'm a fashion girl at heart. So, I mean, I almost cried, but I had to just hold it in. I literally looked like SpongeBob SquarePants hosting the Grey Cup. Like it was just a big square and my little legs coming out. Yeah, it was, I mean, it was warm and I sucked it up, but that was just like, so this year I'm prepared. Uh, It will be in a neutral color regardless. I'll be in black, but it will not be, it will not be that jacket. It'll look good. It'll look good. It'll it'll, it'll look good. So, you know, I, I hear you, Rob. It would be so, I'm manifesting to not even think that way, you you know, at this point, like I'm seeing, I'm looking at it like the tie cats are in the gray cup. Like this is how I'm just looking at things right now. I know though, that's a, I still would rock it and enjoy it and like absorb all of it, but it for sure would have a different, a different feeling to it. You know, I, yeah. I, and it's funny, I feel in the, in the years and years now of, of being on the field, I do feel really comfortable there though, too. Yeah. Like I feel like I belong there. And, and I'll tell you straight, like when, when the Ticats first reached out just before the 2017 season, um, 
I, I got, I think an email or something saying we we were, would love to have you. What do you think about hosting game day? And I was like, uh, no, I actually said no, <laughs> because I, first I was terrified and I'm thinking, are they going to, they want me to like, like, I'm thinking they want me to talk about the plays going on on the field and all kinds of, and I thought there's no way, like I would embarrass myself. And I was also thinking because, you know, my kind of my main thing that I do is fashion. And I thought the fans won't buy it. Like they'll think, why is she out there? Like a lot of this self doubt and, and that kind of stuff. So I actually said no. And then I talked to a few different people about it that were all like, are you nuts? What are you, are you crazy? And then they actually messaged me back like a week later and said, your name is still coming up here. What do you think? And I, and I said, yeah, okay, I'm going to do it. And I was so scared, like totally scared. And my first game, my dad and my brother were there. And I remember like going out and we did this intro thing uh, we used to do on game day and like looking up and they're both standing and, you know, <laughs> applauding and my dad's kind of crying and everything. And I just thought, this is what, like, how did I almost say no to doing this? But it's that self doubt. Like that's something I've learned from that is kind of like me worrying about what other people were going to think of me almost stop me from doing this and like, look at all the amazing things that have come from it. So it's like a kind of a neat lesson in pushing yourself, stepping out of the comfort zone. And then I found where I belong in it. I think, you know, yeah. it's, it's like, I don't have to be the, I don't have to be you guys or like Baba or whatever. It's like, yep. I have my own, my own place there. So um, for Grey Cup this year, that's what I really want to channel too. Well, Mike, well uh, Liz, you, Mike. you do it very well. You Mike do it very I, well. Yeah. We're very happy that we've been able to work with you. I was thinking as, as you were talking, I'm like, because you don't just do game day. You do a bunch of other ancillary right. things and events, including at one point you were you were helping us, if I'm not mistaken, because some of it's a blur with our, <laughs> um, I'm going to call it, it was called Huddles and Heels. I know they've changed the name, yeah. but our women's football uh, event, yes. which was always a blast and lots of fun. Oh and God. I know you were there to help. Rob and I make it through yes. the evening and uh, <laughs> we, we've had a lot of fun and I just, you know, it's those, it's those things that there's game day, but then there's the, there's the other things uh, it, that beside that and including the great cup festivities and other stuff you do. So you're really immersed in that amongst the other things you're doing to make a seven day a week job. It sounds like. Right. And it's that, but it's that community side of things. Like I'll be out it's really neat. Like I'll be, I mean, anywhere in the city and like somebody will scream Oski Wee Wee at me or like, go tie cats. Like it's a neat, it's funny. Or just like out for a run or something. And you'll just, I'll get like a scream, uh, like a tie cat kind of thing. Um, but I've been in, when I was in Mexico in February, I was uh, at the buffet and somebody screamed across <laughs> Oski Wee Wee, like this couple with their that's tie awesome. cat hats on. And yeah, in the in like airports, that's happened across Canada. When I was traveling across Canada all the time, it happened uh, everywhere. So it's it's something you're right. Like it's not just about game day. There's so many other layers to it. And I love I love like I love finding my role in those things. Like you said, the women's football event that has always been like such a such a fun one really that's my that's yeah. definitely one of my faves that was uh that was fun and for some reason mike and i didn't get asked to go back and do it all of a sudden someone else <laughs> took it over <laughs> like what the what hell they wanted some younger blood younger blood <laughs> oh, no you guys are busy you guys are busy this is true right this is true <laughs> yes i think i think uh the difference when you go to all these places around the world, you get noticed. Mike and I only get noticed in Hamilton, <laughs> and we get yeah. confused. We, well, and we get confused for the same person. So oh, I'm Rob, oh, you, and he's Mike all oh, the time. You, all the time. Really? All the time. All the oh, time. And we oh just go God, along that, with it. Yeah. <laughs> now, there is that. Always, all the time. You know what I get asked sometimes is, "Do I get free pizza?" Free what? That's one of my do I get free pizza? Like because of the giveaways that we do, that's one of the biggest questions too that I'll get is, do you get free pizza too? <laughs> oh my goodness, that's awesome! That is awesome. There's a uh, and I to don't. get on to what, Mike, to what Mike said earlier. We, uh, we we do get all the time. Like there's been times where I've had conversations with people. And they're calling me Mike, and you had such a good career. And I'm, it's a three-minute conversation, and I'm just going along with the same thing. And it's just, 
I, I, it must be our eyebrows. I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Despite the, the so head, you won't correct them? Oh, I thought it's, it's not at that point. They're so convinced and committed <laughs> that it would it would be painful to correct them. They would be upset by it. Yeah. So we just right. like let. And there's been times that I've had my jersey on and Rob's had his jersey on, and they still call him Mike and me, Rob. And so, we're well, and we're right, say, we're like, right in, beside in, each other, in, right beside each other. In this yeah. <laughs> I will say this in talking to so many fans over the years that both of you are definitely fan favorites. Like the, like Hamilton adores you guys. I would imagine on um, game day for you too, when you're there, it will be hard for you to watch as well though, because there would be so many people coming up to you and wanting to chat with you. How do you navigate that? That's a question. Well, hey, that listen, I I'm the interviewer here, Natalie. I, I know, ask the I questions. Know. I know, What's but happening? I would love, no. I'd love, I'd love, I'd love some advice on that. Like, I'm curious, how do you, how do you navigate that? You gotta, you got, and, and, and you know, I, in my new role now, it's very similar now, you know, in sure. basketball and you just, you have to make time and it's hard sometimes. Cause it's, I, I don't want to sound like it's a, um, it's torturous. It's not, it's no, really no. the minute they stop recognizing you or want to talk to you, then, then I'd be concerned. Right. So I, I I do enjoy it, but yeah, there's no way to sit down and actually kind of watch a game or be entertained. And sometimes I, you know, I go, I'll go alone because just for my family, it's not fun for them just to be, Hey, can you take a picture? Can you do that? Can you, it's, you know, it is what it is, but I I do love it. And Hamilton is a, is a funny city. We're all from here. I think we've all lived it at some point as a player in Hamilton. It's almost like, you know, when you're playing, you're good or you're really bad, depending on the day and the game um, sure. or the record of the team. But when you retire or you die, you are like the greatest player ever. So now they're right. like, oh, you got, you should be back out there. And we need you. I'm like, no, you don't. Yes. No, you don't need me. Believe me. You don't want to see this on the on the field right now. It ain't going to work. But yeah. uh, but I do enjoy that part of it because there's no pressure anymore, right? And you're just appreciated right. for for what you did for their memories and their experiences. And, and, you know, Rob and I are, are for, I guess, fortunate, but kind of sad at the same time. We're the last group to win a great cup in Hamilton. Right. It's been way, way, way too long. Right. So people hold on to that. Uh, but we need to fix that. We need to fix that. They need to be same. another winner soon. Yeah, I know. I know. Same, uh, I know. same with, you know, get, just getting on going to the games. Uh, I brought my wife, Michelle and my daughter, who's 19 now, um, oh brought her to, uh, cause she was, Two when when I retired, like in oh, I guess it was 07, and she was born. So wow. she was three years old when. So she never got to see me play. So she's come, she's come to my, the, the induction. But a couple of weeks ago, we went to a game and we got into the uh, gate three, the other side of the field. Yeah. And it took me. My seats were on the other side of the field, so it took me till the second quarter, like three minutes to go to get to my seat. <laughs> oh my god. So Michelle's just like she she gets it right, and my daughter's just like yeah. really like these people, like they these they're not people they they their dad they the people like us like they like me they want to take pictures. <laughs> like, I love that. Irritated, right? So, but she uh, deep down, of course, I think it because she never saw me or us play. Um, my wife Michelle knows, of course, but with oh, her, we lost them. Oh, there we go. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Yeah, oh, yeah, like how I mean that's got to be pretty surreal to see to see your dad, you know, kind of being like 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 it's a full on celeb mode in that kind of, like for it to take that long just to walk somewhere. That's that's yeah. neat. That's pretty special. Yeah, it was kind of neat. Cool. Yeah, that's that's I mean, you know, in, in this city the Thai cats are king, right? They are historical right. and they mean everything and and speaking of, you know, meaning everything, this game coming up Tomorrow, because we're or two, two days from now, we're shooting on a Saturday. Which, by the way, Butko, I need double time and a half for this. <laughs> this is, uh, believe me, and send Natalie some extra clothes or something. Uh, we get get this figured out. And by the way, as a, as a an official guest in this show, I should remind you um, that you can walk now into the Roar store and take whatever you want. Yeah, just Perfect. don't ask questions. Take whatever you want and just, just give them the old. That. On the way out, okay. it's fine. Is there like it's a fine. wink or anything that I give? There's is just there like, like a, a salute, a quick little salute, little... and just out the door. Yeah, and then <laughs> they'll understand. Don't worry about okay. it. 
um, <laughs> it, it, it'll work out just fine. And I totally lost my train of thought and uh, that whole uh, thing. Labor Day. But We're talking Labor, Labor Day. Day. Yes. Labor Day. So yeah. I think we all know the importance of Labor Day. Win, lose, or draw any other game of the year, you know, minus the Great Cup, Labor Day is the time to win and nothing else matters. I yeah. know. I know. It's uh, I'm like, I, it's funny. I feel nervous, but excited, nervous. I don't even know how to, it's just, and it's in the air. I, my first Labor Day game guys was 2017. And that was when there was the big um, like rain delay, lightning, mm-hmm. whatnot. And it was like two hours, something like two hours and eight minutes or two hours and 11 minutes. And we won. 24 22 and that was my first season and that was a cool it's always like that particular game sticks out in my head too because like all the fans stayed you know it was like it was just such a a wild feeling and like the wild storm and then us winning and that was one of my favorite I don't know I sort of like that feeling still every Labor Day game that comes around I sort of like that channel that again the excitement and energy of it I'm pumped. I've got my outfit ready. I I bet. Are you going to tell us? Is there a hint? No. Is there a hint? Um, Metallic. Just think metallic. Okay. Are there boots (laughs) attached to this? Are there boots? Always. (laughs) All right. It's our Made in the Hammer game too, though. So we're we're definitely like encouraging everybody to wear their Made in the Hammer gear. And we have some great merch, right? Our merch is Mm -hmm. uh, is pretty awesome. Our store has like every... I'm not doing like a commercial here, a sales pitch, but we just have, we've got great <laughs> stuff in there for sure. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Rob, what's going on with you the rest of the day, buddy? Uh, we've got to be out of here in my hotel room in 15 minutes. And oh. yeah, and I asked for a later checkout, but uh, they said no. It's a very busy time. <laughs> Are you coming back, Rob? Like today? Yeah. Are you flying home? Are you going yeah. to the Labor Day game? Uh, well, I fly. I, Flew in Sunday. I fly back tonight, so I get in tomorrow morning at uh, six a.m. tomorrow in Toronto. Uh, okay. It's like a ten-hour, ten-hour flight. But um, I am, Ugh. I'm not sure about the game on Monday. It just depends on how I'm feeling. It's only oh, an yeah. hour ahead. We're only an hour ahead here, so the time difference is nothing. But um, it's just I've been a long week with lots of meetings, and I, I think I've gained. I, I think I've gained. Like Mike, we don't gain weight. I. It's so much different down here. I eat so much meat, and I don't eat. Oh, a lot of meat. guaranteed! All oh, these geez. Brazilian steakhouses. Like I'm, I just feel, I just feel <laughs> bloated. I feel bloated. Oh. It's just water weight, Rob. Just water weight. You're okay. Creatine. Maybe what do they say? Yoga they, class, and you're good. Yeah, you'll be fine. So what, what do they <laughs> say? Like every camera adds ten pounds or something. You only got <laughs> five cameras on you. That's all. Oh you're the other night, you look good. It's okay, buddy. <laughs> I know. Okay. We'll be back soon. Don't worry. We'll be together. Uh, I, I, I honestly, you, you know, I, I know this is this this show is about nothing, by the way. Just so you know, I, I there's no it. no this rhyme or reason to what this happens. Is, Whatever pops into our heads, which it. for Rob is not much. <laughs> so, uh, the, <laughs> uh, so we got upcoming. We got the Labor Day match uh, on Monday. Uh, Argos yeah. coming into town. It's a big game. It's always a I big know. game. But now Argos are on fire. They're playing well. Ty Cats coming off a big win. Playoffs, right. you know, Labor Day is kind of the de facto start to the, you know, the, the best part of the year for CFL football. And um, we need our Ty Cats to pull out a victory here because that can go a long way to yeah. get in the playoff spot and getting the playoffs in the CFL is all that matters from there. It, you just got to take care of business. Yeah. That's it. I know that it, it's the momentum behind us getting this win. That's so key. I mean, I, I feel like we're ready. And like you said, coming off of that win last weekend was huge and you can feel that you can feel I've been down to the stadium to film some promos and whatnot while well, some practices have been going on. And uh, yeah, no, it's a, it's like a, it's a vibe. There's some yeah. big energy going on. I have a good feeling about it. I have a very positive, positive feeling, but like, yeah, it's just, it's the, it's the anticipation of it all. It's, yeah. it's a lot. I mean, I mean, I can't imagine you guys would have felt that every time I'm sure. Well, we, as uh, we, as players, we've always said um, the season starts after Labor Day. 
you know, you you could be you could sure. have three or four wins, and you know, we made it to the playoff with eight wins. You know, going eight and ten. So anything happens after Labor Day, and this it starts with Toronto, and you get a big win, the momentum starts, and then you get pushed into the playoffs. So um, as players, I. As players, you want to win every single game, of course, but it really starts to matter now the second half of the season, and that's how we took it. Um, but I, I'm hoping they're going to be – hopefully they're uh, they're the same way. We can get some injuries back. Um, these guys yes. can get back off injuries and, and just start to, start to gel because I haven't seen, in my opinion, I haven't seen um, the team gel on defense yet. I've maybe one or two mm-hmm. games. Last week in BC I thought was, was great, um, but they totally. need to just continue on that get that momentum and keep doing that and they're they're a great football team and they're coached well and totally um, we're just ex- we're, we expect that right because of uh, the coaching staff that they have and the players that they have on the field so let's do it we got this yep. <laughs> hey that's it I, I, well, heck, man, this show is over let's just end it end it there I mean uh, Natalie tell your friends about the show because right now okay. there's 11 people that watch so we'd like to get that number up and uh, somehow they keep bringing us back. No idea how. So that tells you how bad the other shows are that Rob and I actually are still have a show uh, three years in. So, yeah. you know, the other guys need to step it up. And they're trying. We're not even trying. That's the you thing. We should have been off the air a long time ago. A long time you ago. You guys are great. I was really looking forward to doing this. And I appreciate you guys having me on and being the first woman on the show like that's, yes that's pretty sad cool. eh? sad that it took this long but thank you yeah thank i appreciate you. you guys very much we all yeah do. and this 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 flew by very fast we will have you on again how about we make a promise before gray cup that we okay, have yes. you back on we can talk all about what's happening at the gray cup with our tie cats in it i think that should be the plan moving forward i love yeah. that idea i'm in you let me okay. know as we as we Rob say will let Brazil, you say goodbye because you're on a delay. As we say in Brazil, abrugado. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you, just, you just made that up. No. You just made that up. No, no. no. I want to know what other words you know. I want to know what other uh, words. That's for another show. Well, we will we will take a, a, a chance here to thank you, Natalie, for coming on the show. Ravi, thank you from Brazil. Have a safe flight home. David Butko's in his parents' basement. Just keep doing what you're doing, bud. It's working. <laughs> and uh, for Natalie Sexton, Rob Hitchcock, David Butko, I'm Mike Morielli in the Thai Cats Audio Network. This is Morielli and the Hitch. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. That's another episode of Mori Alley and Hitch on the Thai Cats Audio Network. Have a question or a comment for them? Email us at mnh at ticats.ca. That's M-A-N-D-H at ticats.ca.